from Little Italy, this is City TV Everywhere. That's public property there, son, from Young and Dundas. This is City TV Everywhere. Stay with City TV as we take you away from all this regular programming stuff to show you what television really can be. Oh, I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong copy. Late Great Movies are next. The voice of City TV so it was sort of born in 1983. So whoever was doing it at the time was going on vacation. They said, you know, Mark, do you want to do it? And I was really busy. I was working 12 hours on the crime beat. I just treated it as just a, just made fun of the shows and, you know, made fun of the people and just my sort of mock heroic, insulting, witty humor that still exists, I guess. Just figuring, you know, like, they aren't going to want me to do this for too long. You're about to enter the vast world of late grade movies. Big deal, right? Tonight we're repeating a movie we had about a month ago because we feel like it, and I like it. The other guy never came back from holidays, and I've been doing it ever since. Here's the latest from the City Pulse News Team. City Pulse, tonight. Good evening. Refugees flee Iraq with new stories of fighting between pro and anti Saddam forces. City Pulse, tonight. Good evening. Two breaking stories in the past half hour. One from entertainment, one from sports. Joe Carter's back as a Blue Jay and British author Salman Rushdie has popped up at a downtown theater. He took the annual Penn Benefit audience by surprise walking on in the middle of a presentation. Rushdie's now speaking off the cuff to the audience. Our cameras are there, but security's very tight. Expect our first pictures for breakfast television. Good afternoon. I'm Mark Daly, live from our new home on Queen Street West. Making news this hour... There's a spirit and a drive here I've never seen before. People striving for individual goals as well as collective goals. What we're trying to do. And I think you have very unique personalities all together doing that. No matter how rough things get and how bad things get, the product is still there. And I think the product is very consistent. And it's different than what anybody else in town is doing. I think we feel closer to the people. I think the people feel closer to us. Mark Daly, for City Pulse. The young lad was able to tell police that he came to the Queen Street Mental Health Center here at Queen and Ossington. We know that the motive had something to do with the dispute with one of the tenants of this building. The 19-year-old victim got off the Markham Road bus here at Markham and Brim Morton, just south of Ellesmere. There was quite a bit of blood at the scene, and they've admitted there is a man believed to be middle-aged with serious head injuries. There's been some evidence that this could have been some kind of tragic drug misadventure. This woman was well known to police in the area. Back then, the glasses technology was a little different, so I had these things, I used to call them bus windshields. I had these big, thick glasses, and, and I was a really skinny guy skinnier than I am now uh, back then I think I've gotten better looking as I got older and we begin live with Mark Daly in storm battered York region Mark well Gordon whole communities were ravaged homes damaged power outages everywhere the GTA won't soon forget this evening